Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to the Ridge in Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now, in this episode, we are going to be taking this load of lumber back to the lumber mill, but in order to do that, we're going to have to tow it there because this truck can't really get out of here. Seriously, like without help, this truck really can't get out of here. So we're going to have to use this guy to help get him out and let's see, crane and restore. So now, instead of turning that truck around, we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to do something to back it up because I don't want to have to try to turn it around. I think it'll be way, way more involved than it has to be. So I'm going to bring this guy back down onto the road and then try to pull this truck backwards. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or a really bad one that's going to flip the truck over. But regardless, it's gonna, it, we're, we'll try to make it work. We'll try to make it work, and hopefully, hopefully nothing happens to that truck, but if something, well, actually, I was about to say that if something does, we're right here, but I just realized that that's a scavenge point, so if we spill all of that lumber out of the truck, I mean, we'll have to reload it, but it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, it would just be, like, super annoying, because we'd have to reload the lumber and rescue the truck, and it'd be like, are you serious? Alright, so, hooked up. Carefully get that thing to back up. Hopefully it knows how to back up. That's like my biggest concern is that it'll jackknife itself and flip. Thankfully it's holding the brakes. Oh, you suck. Oh my god, you suck. Really? Okay. That thing is that thing is going a mind it's got a mind of its own and it's going a direction of its own. It went the exact opposite direction of the way I was hoping it would go. Which means we're going to tow it backwards. So this guy better really like driving in reverse. So let's back up and try to get this thing situated in a spot where it'll work. Because if not, then it will drive off the edge. And I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> Oh, that's sketchy already. That's that's sketchy already. I don't even like I don't even like how that looks. Yeah, I, I, I don't even like how that looks. I gotta turn this thing around. It just doesn't feel right to me to not turn it around. Cause I feel like if we don't turn it around and we do flip over, it'll be like, well, you know you could have turned it around, right? You know, it's like you know you should have turned the thing around, right? Plus, it's a flat transition right here from the road to the beach, so we can pretty much use this spot for whatever we want. Oh, I miss having my unlimited winch distance. Well, not really unlimited, but close enough to, to unlimited. Close enough to make no difference. Oh, that's gonna, that's, that's gonna, like, drive me nuts. So now we gotta back this thing up. And drive it probably through the mud. I was going to say, like, the mud is pretty much the only way we're going to get this thing to the area we want it in. So let's hook up to the front of the truck. Then put it in low three and have it follow us. That angle might be too sharp. It is. God, this thing is, like, finicky. It would almost be better, I think, to, to have towed it ourselves. All right, so we're moving. We've got the torque. Now all we got to do is actually get it up to the road, which may or may not be the trickiest part. I say may or may not be. I feel like it may be. I'm just denying the fact that it may be. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you got this. Come on, you got this. You got this. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can bring this guy... Down along to the, uh, the objective. Now, I kind of do want to get closer to it, though. I want to position this guy a little closer, because if I do that, then it'll be a lot easier, I feel, to keep it kind of in the same line, because it'll follow right behind us, instead of being towed kind of like by a rope, you know, like 15 feet behind our truck. Which, when you do that, the, the, the truck you're towing has a bunch of room to swing. This way, it doesn't have a bunch of room to swing. Now, it, oh god. Really? Re really? God. <laughs> Rip his windshield if this was realistic. Like, I mean, it is realistic, but, like, if it was, like, super realistic and, like, everything was simulated, 
freaking rip his windshield. Oh my god. I kind of moderately feel like it's pointless to be doing it this way because literally we're just towing we may as well be towing a bigger medium log trailer like what the hell why why would we do it this way i don't know i thought it would be fun i mean but not even it's like i mean well it is fun it's different it's a different way it's a different way to do the same thing so it's like <laughs> it's like Getting it's like getting an NA Miata or getting an NB Miata. It's two different ways to do the same thing Closing in on the pavement I have to see like well, we're closing in on the garage really But once we get to the once we get to the pavement I might see about just driving the truck on its own and keeping this guy around here Well, no because the next scavenge point isn't even close by so we'll just take this thing close like as close as we can get it to the other uh to the other scavenge point and then we'll let this thing go but i don't remember if the route to the lumber mill actually has like you know a sloppy muddy uphill climb because if it does then we'll need to bring this because that truck won't be able to get up a hill that's muddy on its own because it sucks i mean it does in the grand scheme of spin tires like or mud runner that orange truck behind us, it, it it sucks. It's just not capable. It's not very capable at all. I mean, like, where is it capable? It's capable on freaking pavement, which makes it capable in Euro Truck Simulator, but not here. So I don't really get why they... I mean, I get why they did it, because it, it, it helps with challenge. It adds other options to gameplay. It gives you a wider range of vehicles to use. I get why they did it, but at the same time, when you drive it, you're like, wow, this truck sucks. Just putting down all that torque, all that torque and grip up the hill. I mean, there's pretty much nothing this thing can't tow, which is one of the reasons why I like it so much. It's such a great rig. I mean, it'll tow, as you can see, it'll tow a fully loaded down, you know, semi with a medium log trailer, like, up a hill, pretty much as steep as you want and as muddy as you want. I mean, as long as you're not going up a sheer cliff, you're pretty much fine, which is a really cool thing when you think about it in, like, the grand scheme of everything. But we should actually, you know what? I think we have some fuel in that tractor, but nah, this thing doesn't really need fuel yet. It's not really in a place where I'm like, where I'm like, yeah, you know, we need fuel, which we could always, you know, we could always refill it. It's no big deal. But at the same time, it's one of those things where, oh, he's going to hit me. Yep. Oh, God. Turn, turn, turn. Woo! That was close. If I had gone straight, that would have been like, dude, that would have been a pain in the ass to get this thing out of. Because straight down into there is like you drop off the side of like a little like a little rise in the terrain, which gives like a lot of potential to roll the log trailer. And not only that, but it's muddy down there. And you know how much this thing loves mudding. Yeah, not the not the rig that we're we're pulling with, but the orange truck behind it. It it absolutely hates mud and I don't know why it hates it so much It just does and it's one of those things that you just avoid with that orange truck like you genuinely just avoid it so Now we're out under the pavement and we should be able to speed things up a little bit Which is nice and I'm gonna see because I know that the um, the other Scavenge point that we have to go to is kind of off to the left at least from here in relation to the road but let's go ahead and get on some flat ground, throw it in high, and then throw it in automatic. So let's throw it in high. Will it pull in high? Yes, it Yes, it will. Throw it in automatic. That's second. That's third. Let's go. Just trucking now, dude. Moving along. I just got to keep it out of the guardrail. If I put this thing in the... It, like, if I put this thing in the guardrail, the truck behind me will... Uh, the truck behind me <laughs> will flip out and probably literally flip over. And then we'll have to do that all over again, which, like, honestly, I'm going to be a little bit more careful getting this thing to the objective than I normally would be. But be fair, like, I, I just really don't want to load this thing again. <laughs> I don't want to take this thing back to that lumber area again and have to load it again because it's so, like, it's, it's just, I don't know, it, it just sucks to take that thing back there. Dude, this thing is hauling it up that hill in third, no problem. 
Just absolutely, I feel like it's faster with, well, you know what, I know why it's faster with this than it was with its own log trailer. Because that truck is not only being pulled, but it's moving under its own power too. So, it's kind of being double powered, if that makes sense. We're just helping. It's running under its own power, but we're just helping it along. We're really, we're just guiding it. We're like, we're like, yo, <laughs> you need guidance. Go over, like, over here. <laughs> All these downhills are going to be interesting. I kind of, I'm actually kind of glad that we have that boom in the back to kind of slow that thing down before it would slam into the back of us. Because if it would slam into the back of us, it would build up a whole bunch of extra speed. So there would be more chance of it kind of going off in some random direction. There's the area by the garage. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit because I did see a video where someone rolled one of these right here because they came in too hot. And, you know, spilled all the lumber out of the trailer and all that kind of stuff. And I just didn't want to have to deal with that, dude. Like, I did not want to have that happen. It was one of those things that I was like, I was like, okay, I've seen this. I, I, I've, I've seen it with my own two eyes, and I'm not going to let it happen. Now, if we can get, if we can get a little bit closer, and I'm kind of trying to think right now because the whole idea behind, the whole idea behind using this truck was like using the truck that we're using right now to tow the other truck was to give the whole thing a little bit more reliability a little bit more dependability a little bit more stability a little bit more capability all of the things basically because again the orange truck sucks and let's see where we are in relation to where we're going all right so that's not bad that's like right down the road that's not bad at all i love how we take off and he takes off too you know what? I'm already kind of glad, like, driving onto this, I'm already kind of glad that we have this truck anyway, like, that we brought the big truck, and it looks like, according to the map, it looks like the road to the objective is also kind of muddy, mucky, dirty, so definitely grateful for the fact that we are using the setup we're using, that's for sure. Fuel's getting a little low, but it shouldn't be, like, it shouldn't get too low between here and the objective. I mean, now that I think about it, I really should have fueled it up when I had the chance with the tractor, but it's one of those things where, okay, yeah, this is where we're going, and oh my god, I am so glad that I brought this big truck. Not the big truck we're towing, but like the tow rig. Now, I'm not going to leave it in automatic because I know for a fact that it is going to go down into first anyway, so you may as well lock it in low three. Like, putting in low three, it either makes it feel like a manual or it's almost like... It's almost like locking the torque converter in an automatic, if, if, if you will. Because, like, if you lock the torque converter in an automatic, you kind of get that direct connection. Whereas, like, with a manual, you've got direct connection all the time anyway, which is why manual is better. But, I mean, <laughs> it's one of those things that, like, you can argue all day long about auto versus manual. I'm a manual guy. I mean, even though... Even though my daily driver has a dual clutch gearbox, which is kind of like... I just kind of wanted to try it because I had never tried anything with a dual clutch before, so... I was like, it was one of those things where I was like, oh, kind of want to try this out, see what it's like. And it's cool, but I'll definitely say I prefer manual for sure. So we've got that guy down here to the lumber mill. We're going to go ahead and swap trucks and unload the four points of lumber. And that is half done. So we need one more load of lumber and then this map is complete. Now, I am going to adjust. There we go. I was like, I'm going to adjust my headset because it was going nuts on me. It was absolutely going nuts on me. So, let's see. Got three medium logs out there, which is not far. It's not far at all. And I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking? I'll show you what I'm thinking. Recover. And... Well, you know what? Mm hmm. Hmm. Should we do it with this or should we do it with... No, nah, we'll do it with this. Yeah, we'll do it with this. All right, let's see. Log carrier. Medium log cart. And then grab the D538, bring that guy back to the garage, and he's good to go. So literally right there, we just saved a bunch of time. So let's go ahead and literally resume the exact setup that we had before, and we'll take off for that other objective. Let's see. That'll be close enough. I mean, it's a little bit further away than last time, but it's still fine. It's like no big deal in terms of like... In terms of where this thing will, uh, where this thing can hook up at. 
So moving along. Oh god, we gotta turn left. I completely forgot we had to turn left here. That's kind of sketchy. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, jeez. There we go. <laughs> no, no, go left! God, I don't want to hit the other truck! To be fair, this thing would probably just push it, and it just keep pushing it until it was gone. it just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it, and that'd be that, and you'd be done. So, <laughs> I don't know why you would be like, I don't know why you would freak out about it, but... Again, just steering early. Very, very early. Oh, steered too late there. <laughs> steered way too late there. Or turned, I guess. Who says steered? It's turned. I mean, well, technically, you, they, they're both, like, you, you could steer a car or turn a car, so... But at the same time, if you're talking about cars and you're talking about performance driving, steering a car and turning a car can be done with two different things. Or, well, two, three, four, five, many different things. You can turn a car under braking, you can turn a car under throttle, you can, you don't, you know, you, there, it's not just like a steering thing to turn a car, so. I love the fact that we're heading to this last lumber mill during the day. You know, like, just the fact, it feels nice to be finishing it off during the day rather than at night. And I don't know why that is, it's just kind of... It's just kind of nice. Oh, God, I wish that thing... We, I wish we had hooked it up just a little bit closer because now it's doing this thing where it's trying to keep distance and it'll, like, get closer, 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 and then back off, and then closer, 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 and then it'll back off, and it's weird. Like, and it kind of yanks at the lead truck. But this, I believe, is where we're heading, which we would be correct on that one. This is another area where I would... Like, where I'm really glad that this orange truck has a... Um, has a has a tow rig well th that the orange truck that we have a lead rig for the orange truck so let's go ahead and get this thing moving along just pretty much rolling over everything in its path frankly easy now i don't think we've ever been to the farther scavenge point i know we've been to the close one right here but i don't know if we've ever been to the far one the far one i mean it's a pretty good ways out there it's definitely not like you know, super close by, easy to get to. The first one we should pass pretty early on, and then the second one you will have to, like, you know, we'll have to, like, give it a decent amount of reach to get out there. Easing it over the top of the hill. Whoa, holy crap. Oh, I see what happened. A tree stabbed the, stabbed the follow truck. Like, looked like it stabbed one of the axles or something. Which is not necessarily something you want to have happen to your truck. But we're going to bypass this scavenge point right here. Let me see if it'll go into third. I wonder if it will. It's just kind of hanging out in second right now. Which means I kind of would rather put it in high. If it'll maintain high. Which it looks like it will. Which is awesome. Wait. We going the right way? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure that we were going the right way. Because... If we weren't going the right way, I was about to go that way, but I just wanted to make sure so we didn't have to turn this whole contraption around. Because it is one hell of a contraption to turn around. Like, seriously, let me tell you what. Like, you will spend a long time turning this thing around. Probably, like, this whole arrangement of, like, of trucks back here... You'll probably spend as much time turning this thing around as you would loading the lumber. At least if you know how to load lumber. So we'll have to kind of bypass this lake, which that's another reason why I'm glad I brought the lead truck. Because we don't know if it's muddy, mucky, squishy out here. It's actually not bad so far. Felt like it was starting to bog down, so I was like, eh, I'll put it in, in low three anyway. I would rather put it in low three than have it bogged down and then have to start it back up again. The ground is pretty well packed out here, though. Looks like it's kind of mucky over here, but it's pretty well packed around the lake, which is surprising. Usually in this game, when you have, like, a body of water, it's kind of a signal that the surrounding ground is going to be pretty soft. But in the grand scheme of things, it actually seems to be doing pretty well. So let's go ahead and get, eh, we'll get kind of, a, like, a decent angle. It doesn't really matter where we put the truck since we've got, you know, since we've got this to drive and then, well, we've got this to load. And then the truck just kind of wants to, you know, we can just kind of set it wherever. But let's release, and now we can set to work. So let's get situated where we need to be. 
And I'm going to try and do that in three. I don't know if I can this time. I tried to do it last time, and one of them fell out. But I'm going to try and do it in three. And if we can do it in three, then this will be a really quick lumber stop. Slowly adjust that steering. Slowly adjust it again. Not bad. All right. So get the crane under operation and hoist it up. Oh, God. Come on. All right. So let's turn that grappler just a little bit. Move you kind of, kind of out where you need to be. All right. Oh, God. Are you serious? Trying to kind of pile these on, like kind of pile these on top of each other to where I can get a better grip. Eh, that's iffy. It's almost like it doesn't want to, like... It doesn't want to work exactly the way that I... Oh, there it, there it goes. Okay, so forward, back. That's what I thought. And then up and down. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought it would do. And I was... Oh my god, really? Stop swinging. There we go. All right, so push down as much as I can, and then, uh-oh, that was acting weird. All right, let me see how stable that looks. It looks fairly stable, actually, as long as we don't swing it around too much. Like, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest reason why those things will fall, is because like, if you swing them around a bunch. Let's change back to the orange truck. I want to bring it closer, so as, like, so as not to drive that tractor any further than it needs to be oh my god this thing is already stuck that is ri ridiculous Th that is absolutely pointless this is like this is like this it's the worst truck i've ever like driven in terms of logging it just sucks it's just really bad all right i don't know if that's close enough or not but we'll find out there's no light out here either. That's that's what's crazy. There's no light out here at all. Up. Oh, God. It won't go up any further. I don't know why. I just know they're all there, so I'm going to let them go. All right, now let's change trucks. And hopefully... Oh, you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Yep, there we go. And done. Okay, so that's that, that was pretty simple to do. So we've got new logs available where? Two long logs. Oh, okay, so we've done all the medium logs that it's going to give us. Okay, so all we have to do now is get it back to this lumber mill and we'll be good to go. I mean, we'll literally have this under control and done. So change back to the D538. And I'm going to I'm gonna re, uh, reposition the crane. Because the crane, I'm like, eh, you know what? You know what? I kind of want it to just be, be, where it, be where it needs to be. But you know what? It should be. It's going to be interesting getting this truck out of here. Because it's kind of in a weird, mildly stuck place right now, and we're going to have to make a loop with it. So that we will handle in the next episode, which will be the final episode of the logging Let's Play of The Ridge. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later.